yeah, brother. You're on the Please McFarlane YouTube channel. All right, ladies and gents, welcome back to the McFarlane Science Channel. Today, we got some freaking live action for you because y'all loved our single electric turbo video so much. We figured. <laughs> okay, well, well there goes our video. <laughs> We got you a second electric turbo from the guys at Torque Amp. We had so much fun with our first one that hopefully still works. Nice slam down on the table, I like it, Coop. And uh, you know what, now we got two. So we're hoping to double our boost. We made five pounds of boost last time we were on the dyno. We're hoping for 10. Let's get this thing unlocked. What do we got, what do we got? Very tough case. Uh. Mm. Ooh. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> what an air freshener. Well, that's an air freshener right there. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, oh, 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 look at this. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh, oh. McFarlane Fab. Damn, bro. That does look it's McFarlane right. Fab. Oh. oh, my goodness, brother. All right, we might have to Live port some of that action. down. That is unreal. Live Hold on. Action. Okay, look at this, guys. Look at this. This is important stuff. We can run these series setup for small engines up to three liters so one torque amp into the other torque amp or we can do a parallel setup for v6 v8 engines to gain horsepower normal boost high flow best performance if we were to use the mustang okay so it looks like this is what we should do right off the kick for the cobalt i like that oh yeah dude that is unreal okay so is that the new turbo or is that the old turbo i think we just have to go right off the rip twin it james yeah. james patience Dr. Spray them all. This is a science channel. We have to try it both ways. This. Oh, we can try it both ways, but we have kick, to. I think we just need to do the two to one. No, right. no, no. We got to do the smaller horsepower one first. Get this thing then open. go to the twin turbo torque amp and blow the cobalt to pieces. Is this our other turb ski? Yeah. Is this the other box ski? This should be. Dueling buttons. <laughs> Ooh. Maybe doing a lot in there. Dude, this is about to be crazy. You need a motion steering wheel of buttons on it. <laughs> this thing's about to be a full blown race car. Oh, look at that. Twin electric turbos, boys. Unreal. And after Unreal, this, dude. they'll be on Leroy. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. This one's serial 004. This one's 14. Gosh, this one's number 14, this is number four. Dude, Man. we got original equipment in here. This is vintage stuff. Wiring, same stuff as last time. If you guys aren't familiar with how these electric turbos work from Torque Amp, essentially they take the car's 12 volt system, they multiply it all the way to 48 volts inside this box, and then the box discharges 48 volts to the electric turbo so it can spin as fast as possible, make as much power as possible. That's our other controller. This one's a... Uh... And it does black, the other one's silver. Look at that, dude. We're getting upgraded. And again, guys, this isn't a paid ad that we're doing for Tour Camp, so shout out to them for participating in this. You know, obviously the first video was super successful and they gave them, you know, some, some serious hype. But they were cool enough to be like, yo, let's try it with two. And obviously we're down, we wanna blow the cobalt up, so we're gonna make this happen oh, today. It's not gonna blow up. Nothing will take it. Yeah, hey, where's Dr. Two in the mall? He's coming. Okay, Gosh, dang it, Dr. Tunamal, where are you? Okay, folks, so obviously for the first run, we had to try it in the series setup now, like, or the compound setup, as you could call it. We're gonna go to the Y pipe next, but I did talk to Torque Amp and they said that the Torque Amps will surge in this setup up to about 4,000 RPM on the Cobalt, but we're just, you know, which we're isn't good. Standard. It's not good for the Torque Amps, but we gotta see what it'll do. Okay, all right, supply the drum roll. Let's see what we got. Boom, freaking series compounded electric turb skis. Can we give them a rip? Can yeah, we charge this I thing up? Done it yet. I did charge the back okay. to make sure okay. that it was. Were they both lit. charging? Both boxes both were charging? They were charging, they were humming, they were doing all kinds of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> kind of scary. So does, is the one button gonna control both? You got her cranked all the way up? Yeah, we might as well tape it so that it can never be less than max boost. I guess. Oh, she is surging. This one didn't move. <laughs> All right, do it. Hit her again. <laughs> okay, Doctor Tunamal, are you ready? You ready to do this? Everything's loud. What are we doing fuel-wise? Because we got, we kind of have like the 85 in it with the methanol. 
pretty bad tank of fuel. Should we drain the fuel and just put some E85 in this thing? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. So, go straight E85. Then we'll do our baseline run, obviously, because we got to see what she makes through the turbos with them off, you know, just have them sitting here resting, pulling air through there, and then through the other turbo. And then both of them bog deep, let her eat, see what happens. Dr. Fuel them all, what are you putting in here, brother? Only the finest Ignite Racing fuel. Ignite Racing E90. JK, it's his water, because everyone knows that's the best sauce you can put in there. James, did you give this thing a nut and bolt check after last track day? Yeah, that's good. You checked all the... Make sure she's ready to rip. Yeah, it, minus the tire being bald, thanks to somebody. Yeah. Took off 30,000 miles. Sorry, it's so fast, it spins the tires. So on our last, okay, I think on the fourth pole we made peak power. No, wow. Right there. 157 horsepower was our peak before. Dude, can we make 200? Dr. Tunamal, what do you think? I'm thinking only 175. 175, really? Ooh, 175. that's a big pickup. Here we go, boys. This is gonna be our first pull. This will be no boost. It's our baseline run through the tour camps. Okay, folks, here we go. Brace yourself, James. <laughs> Even with it off, it eventually started spinning. Yeah. Oh, All right, let's see what we made. No boost, baseline pull. What do we got? Oh, 105 horsepower. Okay, 112 torque. Look at that torque, James. It makes some torque. Dude. Ready to boost this thing? I'm ready. Okay. Let's boost it. You want to make any changes or just send it? No, oh, we're going to send it. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, we made some adjustments. So we're gearing up right now. James is retaping down the turbos. We're about to do our first twin torque amp electric turbo pull. Twin turbs keys. Let's get, let's get a little test rip out of that thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. This poor pipe is hanging on for dear life. Yeah, that accordion pipe is not like this. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Tuna Mall, she's all yours. Sweet honey barbecue. I'm afraid it's gonna throw a dang rod. Blow the whole engine. <laughs> What a oh difference. My Jesus. Oh, wow. Sweet honey oh, barbecue. Look at that torque. Whoa, <laughs> damn. That's 100 foot pounds of torque. So we got 179 horsepower, 211 foot pounds of torque. It, it almost picked up 75. Good horsepower. lord, dude. Almost. Literally almost 75 horsepower. Up 74. <laughs> I can't wait to change it to the Wi Fi. 99 foot pounds of torque. Wow, dude. Literally 100 foot pounds of torque, 75 horsepower difference. That's, but in these numbers, in these numbers, we doubled the torque and almost doubled the horsepower. Are you folks ready to go to Y style though? And I am blue. ready for I mean, twin. <laughs> Compound is over with. Dude, uh, that was That's short lived. So diesel life. So 75 horsepower, 100 foot pounds of torque, and we're switching it up. And to blunt your bumper. Dr. Tunamal, you ready for this? Okay. Think we got the fuel for it? Nope, we're gonna send it anyway. <laughs> he goes, no, but we're gonna send it anyway. All right, that's what I like to hear. So guys, now, instead of the turbos compounding into each other, we're going to a Y pipe. I was, I've been looping it one time around. Oh, the that's right how we're doing it today. <laughs> guys, we wanted to just go full Leroy style, so instead of shortening the intake tube, we're just, we're making this. Leroy style. It's beautiful, dude. What does he mean by Leroy style? Not like, look very good. the hood. <laughs> Visible from the driver's seat. <laughs> I guess that's more my style. Did you hear what he said? No. What? Not looking very good? <laughs> Damn, dude, I can get shots of Leroy like that. What a scumbag. All right, can we get a test hit? One, two. Hell there yeah. we go. <laughs> well hey, do that again. Do it one more time. Dude, that's that's making some serious steam. I'm not gonna lie, brother. I thought I felt the leak, but I think we're good. Hey, hey. 
go rip games is all the best, huh? <laughs> My buttons! One more! <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, so dangerous now. <laughs> now. Now I feel left out. <laughs> Whoa, that one went the torque amp. <laughs> Damn it. Could have just got his in one trip. You've caught one? <laughs> oh, man. Can someone send us new These lab coats? Lab coats. These are capes now. Nate ripped his own off just to fit in. Oh, Nate just ripped one off just for fun? <laughs> Can someone send us new lab coats? We're not signed. We need a uh, 3XL and a 2X. <laughs> I'll fix yours, James. <laughs> Got you, Nate. Tape me up. Dr. Tape them all here. Just, uh, oh. oh, I get three tape jobs? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sick like that, dude. Oh, whoa. Oh, look, it goes back. Hey, <laughs> James. Dude, where am I going to put my pen? Wow, clean tear, though. Clean tear, I will say. You're trying to go for my pocket. Clean so tear, I dude. took your pocket. <laughs> Give me that. All right. All right, we got to get back to work. This is the science channel. Hey, you it? <laughs> no. Take it back. Yeah, we got to get all loose items away from that thing. Okay. We're ready if you're ready, brother. Oh. <sighs> Dude, I'm kind of scared to stand near this thing. But I'll do it for the science. Ready when you are, brother. Sweet honey barbecue. Oh, died. Came unplugged. Came unplugged. <laughs> Okay, we have, I hate it when my turbo goes. Is that what is that? A boost leak or an elect like electricity leak? Uh, is that a short or a boost leak? <laughs> I don't know what that was. Okay. Alright, we're ready now. James, you got the turb seats secured. Dude, what was that sound? Was it spinning it was the tire? No, it was surging. Was that the surge? Yeah, it was. Oh, 193. Look at it surge. Dude. Oh my God, dude, we almost hit 200. Oh, it was this close. Do you know what the surge is? I have it no was idea. unhappy. I, yeah. I thought it was spinning the tire. No, it was like. Yeah, it's, not, it's not happy. This oh, is so man. much air for it. Maybe so it actually it's... showed less boost though. It showed like six but pounds. It's more. so much faster, I think. And it's, it's so more efficient. It's more volume That's why maybe. I had to wait till 5,000 or so and then I hit it and then it came yeah. alive. So guys, for some reason, he was hitting it at the normal time, you know, like hitting the torque amps at the same time as he was the poles before. The car shuts down. But we waited later and it took it and it made 193, but it's shaking. It's surging really bad. Yeah, so. like wants to. We're gonna try it again. If it doesn't work, James had the idea of ramping in the boost using With the control. The knob. So <laughs> turn it down and essentially hold, hit the button and then slowly ramp the boost until it's maxed out. Yeah, where is this thing making peak power? It was like 5,400. So as long as we're at max boost, boost by 5,400. We'll be good. Okay. All right, well, let's try this. But we could make 200 horsepower, it's a possibility. Come on, baby. Yeah! Woo! Come on, baby. That was clean. That was clean. Oh, so close. Oh, 190. 190, but it was nice and clean. Hell yeah. Damn, though. Should we go drive this thing? That's the only option we have left to do. Oh, dang, Dr. Tunamal, you got a knot. We don't need this thing. We don't need this where we're going. We don't need that laptop. What are we doing? Hey, James, how, we're running low on room in here, brother. Squeeze Sorry. in there. I left enough foot room up here. All right. Well, this is what 190 horsepower worth of freedoms feels like. Should we do the progressive boost? Like that? I mean, if it'll take full boost, let's just have it take full boost. I think once it goes into second, you should nail it. All right. 
what she does in the second gear. Oh, I feel something's like power. broken. Yeah, something sounds bad. Showtime Speedway, our local track here, and we are gonna test it on the big end of the track, you know, where we can really let this thing open up. And we also got permission to go on the circle track before we leave, so. Hopefully, we don't pull too many knees around the turns and lose our four cameras. That would be bad. Yeah, that That's would be a bad situation. Think about. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> what? Oh, it's breaking up. Man! It's the fastest pass anybody's had of this track ever. Right there. Oh, you're gonna lose them! <laughs> We're gonna go into the tree. <laughs> That's how you tore down, boys. Well, they didn't fall off on that. Good lord! Man! Woo! Not just anyone can drive this. It's a job, boys. It's, a job. <laughs> it's honest work. Ready? Ready Seatbelts are on and let's go, boys. Oh god. Really hope we don't lose a tour cam. Oh, oh dude. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> dude, it's like oh. spinning a tire yeah, around. Yeah, holding on. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got the headrest. <laughs> oh, we are so good. Jack. <laughs> Get it out of the turn. James, you gotta wait. <laughs> he keeps in your mid corner and it spins the tires so hard. We thought oh, we were a little bit more straight. I thought we were gonna. Reckless. Reckless. All right, folks. Yet another successful episode here on the McFarland Science Channel. Clearly, we know now that electric turbos do work. Compounding works them, putting them in a Y. I don't know what that would be. Just twin turbo torque amps. It all works. So we made. We were able to go from 105 horsepower to 190 plus horsepower with these two puppies. So that's five thousand dollars in electric turbo. You guys ask yourselves, is it worth doubling the horsepower on your Cobalt or, you know, in a car of the equal engine size? They really do work. It's up to you guys to decide if they're worth the money, but we had a freaking blast today trying them out. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for the Elf. We can see you later. Hey, wait, you have something in your pocket. Oh. <laughs> Dirt bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He stopped and was like so cautious. He's like, oh. I'm like, oh shit, what's in Darn. my pocket? <laughs>